Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing my January TBR. I have quite a bit of books to, that I want to read this month um, physically because I usually read quite a bit because um, I work as into an audiobook. Um, but these are the books that I want to read physically at home. Um, so yeah, I have quite a bit that I want to get through. Um, the first ones are pretty short. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, so the first book here that I want to read is Sour Candy by Keelan Patrick Burke. Um, this I had on my TBR for a while. I owned this book for a very long time. And it's very thin, like super short. So it's just a horror novella. Um, all I know about this one is that it's about a father and a son and there's candy involved. But at the same time, he doesn't know this kid. But like he never seen this kid before. But like everyone knows that it's his son or something like that. Um, but that's all, that's all I know, and it's very short, so I should be able to read this, like, in 30 minutes, so, or an hour, it's just, it's very short, so. If I don't ever get around to this now, I probably never will, so that's why it's on my TBR for this month. Then we have, um, The Reality of Us by Vanessa North. I have never seen anyone read this before, but I love the cover, um, so I bought it, um, and basically this one's about, um, Aiden, who... He's like has trouble has tr a lot of trauma, and he doesn't really have a um, easy time having friendships and stuff. And then we also have um, Kit, who everyone loves. He's very friendly, um, but they're coworkers, and they go on like a teamwork adventure trip or whatever. And so they're like hiking on mountains or whatever, but they get stuck or it doesn't go to plan basically. Um, and there's a freak accident and. I'm assuming they just bond and get along together and probably find love. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And it's also very short as well. So this one uh, should be pretty fast to read as well. Okay, so the next two books are um, Kitty Robert books. Um, one of them being uh, The Demon's Bargain. Um, I love her cover. They're so beautiful. But again, this one is like very short. Um, so this one we have Lorena who has a family heirloom gets stolen and she wants to get it back um but there's she had to go to the shadow market to be able to get it back but it's like very dangerous so she can't do it alone so she ends up making a deal with the demon um to go help her get this heirloom back um so yeah i'm trying to get into monster romance books this year um so that should be very fun to read and then the next one that i have by katie robert is the dragon bride um this cover they're so pretty I, I love them so much um and this one we have blair rose who makes a deal with a demon um okay sorry my mom interrupted me but yeah she basically just makes a deal with a demon to get freedom from this forced marriage that she's in from her husband um but in return she has to be um in return she had to be like a service for seven years so she's put up for auction and then she's being sold to a, the highest bidder who's a dragon. Um, so yeah, it's also very short. So I'm excited to read this. It looks fun. Then we have um, Tessa, Tessa Bailey, uh, My Colors Vacation. I bought this literally the day it was released and I just never got around to it. So I'm finally going to add it to my TBR and read it. Um, this one, um, it follows this girl who's on vacation with her brother. They end up finding a dead body in her rental house. So there's a bounty hunter there as well. Um, and he's trying to catch a killer and then she's trying to convince him that she's, she's going to be helpful and stuff. And I'm assuming they fall in love and they're trying to find out who this killer is. Um, so it sounds fun. It sounds cute. So I'm excited to read this one. I only read one book by this author before and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to see um, what else she comes up with. And then for the first horror book or another horror book that I have on my TBR is Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and Other Misfortunes by Erilo Roca. This is an author that I keep buying all his books, but I just haven't read a single book for him yet. So this is going to be the first one that I read from, from this author. Um, so there's um there's like a, a whole bunch of short collections in here but like one of the main one um that he published before um as a like indie publish um is i follow two young women in a internet um chat room in the early 2000s which sounds really interesting and they just talk about their horror desires uh, horrific desires so that sounds really interesting to me i love um a story that takes place in the early 2000s so um 
yeah and then this one is also pretty short to be honest so i'm excited to read this one finally um and this cover is beautiful um okay so then i have a sequel to um um it ends with us which is it start with us by colleen hoover um I really loved it ends with us and so she recently just published this and I bought it, I pre-ordered it and I haven't read it yet so I'm excited to read it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it to be honest because I'm not really a huge fan of Atlas um, from the first book. I thought he was kind of creepy and a little weird um, and I've just never been a fan of him. And I know this is a fan service book, she literally just wrote it because people wanted it. Um, so I'm excited to see if I'm going to enjoy it or not. I don't know because I, I didn't like Atlas and this follow Lily and Alice so I don't know I guess we'll see I will read it and see I normally enjoy Colleen Hoover um, books so hopefully I like it but we'll see and I just have two graphic novels that I'm planning on reading this month they're pretty short um so we have Chef's Kiss which is a romance between two chefs I'm pretty sure um the art is nice it's cute um so this one should have taken long to read as well. And then I have a middle grade um, book that I want to read, which is called Frizzy um, by Claire Bell um, A. Ortega. Um, I read The Witch Link by this author and I really loved it. I'm excited for the second book, but um, she released a middle grade graphic novel and it looks cute. Um, so I'm excited to read that. Um, and this one looks like the art style is also very, very stunning. Um, so yeah, and this one is just about um, uh, this brown girl falling, trying to find, like, accept her hair and love it. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited um, to read these. They're very short, so, yeah. The next one that I want to read is A Heavy Dose of Alice and Taney by Jeff Bishop. Um, this cover, honestly, and mostly just by cover, um, but it's based off the covers because it's pretty beautiful. But this one follows Kim. Um, he gets his heart broken up with... Um, by this girl named Allison, um, and then she gets into a car crash, and then she's like on her coma, like her deathbed or whatever. Um, and then he, the same day, he also um, broke his leg or something, um, so he ends up having a quick operation for that. And then he starts taking medicine for it, um, and then he starts seeing um, Allison everywhere. So it sounds interesting, um, and I love the cover. Hopefully, I like this one. It is written by a straight white man, which I didn't know until recently. So. It might be good, it might be bad, who knows. And then we have And They Live by Steven Soberto, um, something like that. But this one is just uh, follows Chance, um, Chase, I mean, who is a hopeless romantic, doesn't really let himself believe that he deserves to have love and stuff. Um, and then he also deals with um, body dysmor dysmorphia, um, and then he meets this guy uh, named Jack. And they spark have a connection, so there's just a quick story about self-discovery and falling in love. So it is a YA and it's queer, so that's all I need to know. And yeah, I can't wait to read this one. Um, so I own quite a bit of series, but I just never started them or read them. So this year I want to finish all the series that I own. Um, and that the first one that I want to finish is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I own all three books. Um, and I just finally want to get around to reading them. I heard mixed things about this series, but um, it sounds interesting. So I'm hoping I will enjoy it, especially because I own all three. So I'll be, I will be reading all three of these. Um, but we follow this main character who um, she ends up inheriting um, $46.2 billion. Um, and then he doesn't, leave, he doesn't leave the money to his grandsons or his, grand, his daughters or whatever. He leaves it to this girl. Um, but there's a catch, um, she has to move in to the mansion where her grand, where his grandsons live, so, yeah, that's all I know, but it sounds interesting, and hopefully I do like these, because I own three of them. <laughs> so then we have Agent Grey by Ray, uh, Ray Stove, this follows a 16-year-old, um, Adrian, who their mother re recently left them, um, and then she... Uh, I don't know their pronouns, but they um, also have a classmate named Tanner who literally harassed them all the time about their sexuality, which their sexuality isn't public known. Um, but she does know that she likes girls romantically, but she um, thinks that she may be asexual, um, which I like to see um, asexual rep in books. So this is really nice. 
Um, and then she also has a love for photography and her best friend are really, um, you know, they talk about everything, but he recently gets a girlfriend um, and she starts to see how um, like unhealthy their relationship can be. And then just, it's just that type of story. So I'm excited to read this one. Um, and I had this one on my TBR since like February of last year. So um, it's good to finally get around to reading this one. The next book here is She Gets the Girl by Rachel Lippicott and Alison Derrick. I read one book by these authors before, um, Five Feet Apart, and I ended up giving that one star. And I also hated the movie. I just did not enjoy that story. Uh, it was pretty bad. But I know a lot of people like it, but I was just not one of those people. But I did want to give them another chance just because this is a sapphic story. Um, so I wanted to read that. So this follows two characters. One of them is Alex. Um, she knows how to get a girl. She's very nice, um, good at that. And then we also have Molly, who's very awkward, and um, she's in love with this girl named Kara, and she she wants to be with her, but she's not really good at talking to her. She hasn't even spoken a single word to that girl. Um, so then um, Alex and Molly um, cross paths somehow, and then they make a deal to um, Alex for Alex to help Molly um, get to Kara. Um, and then for Alice, she's trying to prove to her, her ex that she is ready for commitment and stuff like that. Um, so they make a plan for that to work. But I'm assuming um, Alex and Molly falls in love, obviously. But yeah, this looks really cute and it sounds really nice. So hopefully I do like this one, considering I didn't enjoy Five, five Feet Apart by them. But hopefully this will be a lot better. I heard good things about this one. I haven't seen anyone not like it. So hopefully I do like this. The next book here is Hell Follow With Us by Andrew Joseph White and this is a book that I already started um, a couple months ago but I just stopped reading it not because I wasn't enjoying it because I was I was liking this story quite a bit but I just I just I was just not in the mood to read this type of story um, but this one just follows a 16 year old boy named Benji who's trans um, and he's just running away from a cult um, that raised him and it's just it's very interesting and there's a lot going on, um, but I'm loving this one. I think it's the am and it's heating a bit, um, as you can see there. So hopefully I will finally finish this one because I, I was really enjoying it from what I did read from it. Okay, I know there's a lot of books on my TBR, but we're down to the last three here. Um, but these are just queer books that I had on my TBR that I wanted to read last year that I just didn't get around to. Um, so I hope I could finally get around to reading them this month. Um, so we have Out of the Blue by Jason, Jason June. I love their debut book, um, J.S. K. Jenna. I really enjoy that. Um, and this one looks so cute. Um, one of the main things that I love about this, um, that I wanted to read this for is that it's about mermaids and this also has a, um, uh, fat main character, which I love to see that. And it's really rare to see that in YA especially, but even in adult books. So I'm excited to read that. Um, so we have this um, mermaid who's, his name is Cress. Um, so he has to go on a month long journey on land to help a human. Um, and if he doesn't help them, then they get stuck on land and they just can't return back to their original place in the water. He meets Sean, who is a lifeguard. Um, um, he recently gets done by his boyfriend. So they team up. He Cress helps Sean to make his ex-boyfriend um, jealous and try to get him back. But I'm assuming Cress and um, Sean fall in love, which it would be very cute. So this one just sounds really cute to me. Um, and I just, I just love it. So uh, hopefully I do like this one. So, yeah. Then we have A Little Bit Country by Brian D. Kennedy. This one I really like. It's pitch as um, Dollywood. Um, theme park um, because we have Emmett who wants to be the country a country artist um, but be like the biggest country artist who's queer and um, gay and I love that that sounds really, really cute and then we have Luke um, who does not like country music but he gets um, to work at this amusement park they both do um, Emmett uh, performs at this amusement park and then Luke ends up getting a job here because he needs money um, but I'm sure they fall in love, so it sounds very cute, and I'm excited to read this one finally. Um, so yeah, and this cover is adorable. So for the last book that I want to read for my TBR is This Is Ever After by F.T. Lookins. Um, honestly, I don't know what this is about, but it's gay, um, and it looks magical, it looks so pretty, and I really love um, their book In Deeper Waters that they released last year. 
so it sounds really good and I can't wait to read it but that's all I know I don't know much besides that um so yeah hopefully I get around to this so those are all the books that I really want to read this month it's a lot but I think I could do it hopefully but yeah let me know what's on your TBR if you read any of these um did you enjoy them or not um so yeah make sure to like comment below and make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys